Javon H. from my scene TV. We're at yeah. Magpie Cafe right underneath the Perkins Royal Overpass. And I'm here with the owner, Mr. James Jacob. Mr. Jacob, hey, Javon, thanks how for are having, you? Doing great. Thanks for having us on. So um, tell me a little bit about Magpie. Who is Magpie? So uh, Magpie Cafe is really a um, is a uh, marriage of two passions within a marriage. So my wife and I own the business, and we both had careers. And she was really um, passionate about local and seasonal foods, and I was passionate about coffee. Right. And so we thought that when the uh, right space became available, this particular building, that we would uh, organize, get organized, leave our jobs, and our careers, and start Magpie. So that's what it is. It's an espresso bar that features local, seasonal, and organic foods. What are all kind of things that you guys serve? So uh, we really evolved a lot. Uh, we started out wanting to be a really cool espresso bar that served the highest quality specialty coffee. And the place was kind of built out that way. When you come in here, you know it's service at the counter. And, um, and we were always gonna be kind of like you're here hanging out. You know, it's a really cool vibe, really cool scene. And while you're here, if you want to get a sandwich, a fresh soup, a fresh baked scone, we would have that. But what's happened is, is the Baton Rouge culinary scene has just popped so well that we came out with our fresh seasonal local menu it surpassed anything else we were doing so we kind of had change gears midstream and we started coming out and doing more and more food right like a daily, like daily different daily specials and i saw that on your website yeah. so that's also very neat and you said about the espresso bar i believe you serve italian coffee so espresso by nature is italian yeah so um, we are rooted in the Italian traditions of, of uh, coffee, which is espresso. But we also was uh, another marriage of something else that's really cool, and that is in the Seattle and Portland area. They're really big into um, crafting coffee. So instead of just kind of brewing a pot of coffee, they kind of hand craft them, what they call pour overs. So we're really big into that. We really expand. So you can walk in any time, we can have five or six, five or six different beans, right. maybe from three different roasters, and you can have that cup of coffee in different ways. And you've all hosted some events recently, so tell us about that. I think I saw one as recently as last night. Yep. On our Instagram and our Twitter and our Facebook, uh, we'll post our uh, supper social. Right. And what that is is a way for us to come in once a month and have our chefs, our culinary team here, and our my wife, Lena Jacobs, who's over, she's our culinary strategist. She uh, features a five course dinner, uh, sold to 16 seats in the cafe once a month. And you also told me earlier that you have a second location open in downtown. Tell us a little bit about we that. We do, it's gonna be um, on 3rd Street, 3rd and Laurel. So you know the little restaurant row, you got a lot of those popular restaurants. Right in the heart of everything. Yeah, um, by, by the new grocery store down there. We're going to be right in the heart of all of that. Amazing. And um, tell us how can the people at home get in contact with you? we got a website at uh, www.magpie.cafe. On um, Twitter, Instagram, all the socials, we are um, at magpie underscore cafe. And Facebook is magpie cafe Perkins Overpass. Enough. Clearly, a very popular business because it really is growing, it's really is thriving. I love it. From the moment I set foot in here, I was already obsessed. So I'm like, you know, I definitely want to add this to my list of favorite places. So, Mr. James Jacobs, again, thanks for having me. Thank you. Amazing. Time's up. He's Giovanni. This is my TV. We're out.